we don't we don't we don't travel as Africans, man. We don't yeah, at all. We like, really don't, don't travel. You know? And yeah. I mean, like I'll speak I'll speak to the South African you know context, man. Is dude, we got great weather. You know, um, we got great food in South Africa. People are generally friendly. You know, it's a whole vibe. You know? It's a vibe on its own. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so, and so, and so, I'm, and I'm pretty sure that there are many places like that around Africa, right? Yeah. And so, as a South African, it's almost like we 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 feel like, ah, dude, there's not much need to travel because you know mm. I got everything here. If I got my friends here, yeah. great weather. If I want to go on holiday, I can go to the beach. It's great, mm. you know. But that is such a disservice to yourself you know yeah. as an african you i think that it's i think we need to stop viewing travel as a luxury we need to really see it as a necessity um especially if we want to position ourselves as innovative you cannot be innovative and have not seen other perspectives so in and and the best way to do that is to travel. to travel. So I think I think I think we also need to we need to we need to change the the narrative on what travel means around Africa. I usually speak to a lot of my friends and I insist that they travel, right? Because in as much as you said that people view it as leisure, but to be honest, it helps you learn a lot. Absolutely. Right? And again, um, you know, I'm looking forward to this, but you know, like Aniaba, as I said earlier, he's also yes. working on a podcast trying to tell stories of individuals who have been traveling, right? Yes. Because because different like when you travel you understand how different things shape the society shape the yes, culture and the people absolutely. right and i think two days ago we had uh music playing around right yes. and then we had like south african kids and stuff yeah. vibing to it yeah it was amazing like sure. i'm like these kids are amazing like you know people are excited and yeah. they're happy and just yeah. having a good time really right but then if you don't travel like these are things that you just hear on the news and the news that you're listening to and you'll never get to experience it. Exactly, you know? So yeah. always just be at an arm's length away. And, you know, Ernest, I'll tell you now, there's one thing hearing about um, jollof rice, but there's one thing having jollof rice. And then there's having jollof rice in a Nigerian home. You know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, like, <laughs> that, you know, the, you, can't, you cannot, the, the, it's not the same thing. So I understand, you know, so now, so for example, I've got friends who are from Zim. All right, one of my best friends is from Zim, and um, and so understand by going there, I was able to understand so much more of his mannerisms and the way, you know, the the, the way he, you know, the things that inform his thinking. Mm -hmm. That you know, it, it 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 gives me a lot more patience, a lot more understanding, a lot more you know, grace, if I will, if I could call it that, you know, to be like, listen, I get why they think like this. And I understand why these people think like this. Now check this out, right? So yeah. I, I a couple of years ago, I, I, I go to the UK for the first time, right? And so I get to understand what European people how they approach administrating a country, okay? And I, obviously, being African, I have an African perspective, but I see how well it works over here in terms of how they administrate countries, right? Yeah. And so I also understand where it works well for us and where it goes wrong, mm -hmm. right? And so now I'm able to build a bridge between these two contexts. I'm able to say, no, guys, the reason why European South Africans want th things to work a certain kind of way is because generationally, where they're from, this is how things work. And it works well. Perfectly. Right? Yeah. The way the reason why we have things the way it is is because generationally it's worked well, and obviously here is where the intersections are, where we just need to communicate those two things to each other, and by being able to by by having traveled, mm -hmm. I'm able to now articulate these different contexts to both of these groups, you know, yeah. and so I'm and so I'm able to sit in the communication space and I'm able to articulate Africa to a European. And I can articulate Europe, Europe to, to an, an African. African.